Servus, grüß euch. My name is Pablo Picanto and welcome to Event Zero. Today we have a game with a very interesting concept. The uh, story is in very short. You are stranding somehow in space at a space station and you're trying to get back to Earth. And in order to do that you have to uh, yeah, find your way through the station and interact with an artificial intelligence and uh, the interesting interesting part about this you can like type everything to speak with the AI it's kind of like you know Eevee bot and shit uh, yeah <laughs> imagine yourself talking to Eevee bot and trying to get her to, to do something that you want that that is gonna be horrible people are very fond of this game uh, so I was interested as well that is why I felt the need to try it out. And uh, now, let's start. We're all obsessed by being someone, something, somewhere. Being in a particular state of consciousness, health, mind. Being for and from. Being with, being without. You were not an exception. Okay. Kidoki. Oh. And that is the space station. For as long as you could remember, the pronoun that described you best had been. They. <laughs> they? Is that. Nah. Just. Whatever. You were very particular about it. Was I? Like everybody else, you called planet Earth your home, but you weren't like most of your peers. You spent your childhood in a hippie commune, in a war-torn country, in a slum. Uh, none of the above? In a... Let's go hippie then. Well, first California, then the United States ceased to exist. The world itself became a hypertrophied commune, both disproving and confirming everything you stood for. Okay, you moved to San Francisco. Those childhood memories, however painful, gave you some solace. They meant you were someone. And you intended to keep it that way. Of course I did. Of course. Armstrong made a step on the moon and suddenly everyone wanted to be a part of something. You witnessed nation-states pop out of existence. Selenites became the privileged class of citizens. They were the minority who had traveled to space. It was hard to reconcile the modern world with your early days in the commune. The United Earth government paid for your college. That's mighty nice of them. You wanted to... Make a difference, give back to the society, see what the rest of the universe looked like. Hmm. Make a difference, give back to the society. Not sure. Make a difference. That is what most people want. You became a part of the United uh, Safety Supervision Board. The job pulled, uh, proved dull and repetitive. It wasn't long before you needed a change. Soon you joined International Transport Space Lines as a flight engineer assistant. You spent years in training before finally getting a shot. An old man wearing a blue flight jacket approached you after one of the mock launch exercises. He presented himself as Kurt Taylor, the president of ITS. Ah, uh, hello, sir. It's an honor to finally meet you, Mr. Taylor. Kurt invited you to his office and closed the door behind you. He didn't ask you to sit. Then I kept sitting. He frowned and pointed at the chair forcefully. I asked you here because I wanted someone with your background to be a part of our next mission. Background? Erdi grew, uh, grew up in a commune. And look at you now. You know what Nietzsche said. He who has a why can bear almost any how. I know that, actually. He grinned, clearly satisfied with himself, and asked you to be a part of a mission to Europa. Naturally, you said yes. Mm. 
there had already been 10 Europa missions. The new one was to be called Europa 11. This time, they wanted to send a manned lander down to the surface. You just wanted to be one of the seven knights. I guess I said uh, make a difference, so it's mostly be part of something, I guess. The act of being in itself is not the problem. It's just that some ways of being are incompatible with the others. We get obsessed by them and miss out on everything else. You came a long way from the commune. Hearing the launch countdown made you feel anxious. It was a fear of going to space. You'd been looking forward to that. It was something else. A thought kept bugging you. It was September 6, 2012. And humankind had never been more united. Man, if that would be reality, right? You, on the other hand, were utterly alone. As for building relationships 390 million miles away from Earth. Well, let's just say that is that it wasn't going to be straightforward. Okay. So how do I you were on your way to the system bay? Ah, when the ship first entered the Europa orbit. The central alarm went off and the red lights blinded you. The AI of Europa 11 had invoked the code red security protocol. All personnel had to go to the bridge. This meant you as well, but the system bay door was just a few... Uh... Um... Um... I'm landing there anyway, so... The system door. He said Josh from engineering operating the bay terminal before the system bay what door was shut down in front of you. Maybe it wasn't a drill after all. The AI of the ship told you that the path to the bridge wasn't safe and that you had to evacuate immediately. This is not the protocol. What is going on? A synthetic voice said that trying to get to the bridge had been too risky. It wanted you to evacuate. You ran to the escape pod bay. Everybody else turned out to be faster than you. Only one capsule remained docked. It got sealed and detached as soon as you got in. Oh damn! You could see the other escape capsules getting away from Europa 11. You tried to hail them. But no one answered. The other capsules drifted idly, uncontrolled. They were all empty. Damn! So the AI f shut. fired every capsule so no one but me could evacuate? You tried to reach the command center. Let, let, let's talk with Europa 11 instantly. Maybe it's good to, to place. to have a good standing with the AI. Europa 11 was steering your capsule, but you could not get the AI to answer your hail. Something was jamming the signal. Your pod was leaving the orbit. In a code red scenario, the AI of Europa 11 was at the wheel of all escape pods. This was supposed to give the crew enough time to get in their EVA suits. The screen turned blue, which meant that the AI had let go. You felt a shock. The debris was hitting your capsule. The Europa 11 mission was over. The big dot on the radar has split into hundreds of smaller dots before disappearing for good. You needed a moment to process that. You sent out a distress signal. He said they're not knowing what to do next. That's fire and the distress signal. No one answered. You just kept it running despite the lack of sunlight. If no one found you, you wouldn't need the battery anyway. Cycles went by. You tried to establish communication with someone whistling your favorite Beatles songs into the microphone. One day, you heard back. There was music coming out of the speakers. A sad female voice sang about the end of the world. Ah, you heard it to open the radar app. 
No, I didn't. There it was, a spaceship. One of those experimental tourist monstrosities from the 80s. What was it doing there? What was all the singing about? Most importantly, was stalking it a good idea? Well, it's the only choice, right? You forget that you did not have much of a choice. Yes, indeed. Indeed. It is. Let's talk. At least from outside, it looks it looks quite okay. Right. Event zero. Loading. I'm so looking forward to see what this is going to be. I hope I can think of stuff to ask and then interact with the AI. Like what happens when you tape the, the, the wrong shit? And it doesn't understand you? Yeah. Still need to move forward. That is our escape pod then. Hmm. Okay, that was our escape pod and that is maybe the way to the ship. Can I? Beep beep. What? Come on. Turn it on. Please enter. Well. A new login. Executing a user load. Error database corrupted. Creating. Okay. Input successful. Do you want to keep Pablo as your new login? Yes. Accessing user database. New user Pablo created. Incrementing event count. Success. Resuming. Heh. <laughs> uh. And what's your name? Is it? Ah, oh, sorry. Kaizen. <laughs> okay. Um, that she didn't quite understand it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um can you help me? Le let's go business here. Uh I I, I, had a, I am lost in space. Who are you, man? Can, can I please enter the station? Yes. <laughs> All right, then. Um... Can I enter? Open the door, please. Executing open door. Okay. <laughs> okay, that didn't go so, so, so horribly wrong. Off them. Let me go in. It's fucking dark. Do you dream of distant uh. planets, stars, and galaxies? Well, sometimes. Do you crave real adventure? Are you yeah. ready for the most transformative experience of your life? The yes. The 
leader in space transportation and hospitality sector, offers a unique opportunity to become a true pioneer in universe exploration. Ow. This fall, we're How launching cool. the Nautilus program, a new kind of space voyage aboard luxurious space yachts and cruisers. Touch the stars without having mm -hmm. to sacrifice your comfort. No more comfort. I wonder when this is uh, gonna be a thing. International in reality. Comfort out of your comfort zone. Space holidays. That would be quite awesome to experience once. Whoa! I T S O. Um, they, these are comfy chairs. Plates with I T S logo, dirty. Mm hmm. Bound with I T S logo, traces of dried almond milk. Okay. Make up on the moon. Nautilus program at. Mm hmm. Can I collect shit of that? You here? Send that issue on security armchair. Hear nothing. Music turntable. Can only look at things though. Kaizen poster. Looks so cute and friendly. I wonder if it's gonna be the lobby in all its glory. Okay. Why is no one here? Uh, why can't you answer? Okay, okay, fuck you. So, hmm. Um, open door? Does one know that that was not an answer? Please open the door. The door is locked. Okay, not locked anymore. That Oi! Not funny. Not funny at all. No. Um. Okay. What? 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 Exactly. Is this your sense of humor? Yeah. So. can talk yes destroying the singularity drive yeah okay <laughs> Why do I need to destroy the drive? Oh, okay. That sounds. Sounds understandable. Wow. This way. Something was there. Need a flyer. 
Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. When I first came to visit Alice Klar. That's too much to read, I don't Hey! Boy! This was something special. 